what's happening in Romania is it's uh, so it's starting to have uh, we are starting to see the prosumers. We have in this moment in uh, Oltenia around uh, 2,400 uh, prosumers already connected. Uh, we are expecting that uh, there will be uh, more prosumers coming during uh, during this year. And uh, what I'm very happy to see is that uh, from all the consumers or all the prosumers connected this year in Romania, half of them were connected in, in Oltenia. How do you see uh, in 10 years? Uh, how do you see the future of electricity distribution system in 10 years from now on? So in 10 years, uh, there will be significantly higher proportion of energy generated locally. So it will require uh, distribution companies like us to have, uh, to have systems which are able to manage it in real time. So we will need to have uh, some advanced dispatching systems, we will need to have uh, smart meters, we might need to have, and this is something which as well, it's now under the development, we might need to have some uh, local battery systems to be able to store the energy or uh, when it cannot be produced uh, because it's night, for example. Uh, and all of these things should work, all of these things should work together uh, in order to have customer energy whenever customer needs. What will go and hand in hand with that as well, there will be significant change in the way uh, how the energy is consumed. Because we have now, uh, majority of the consumption is uh, during the day, uh, but with the immobility e as well, so the typical consumption will be most likely, people will have electrical cars, they will, uh, they will come from work, they will come back and they will most likely try to and they will want to charge the charge their cars over the night. So the consumption as well, the pattern of consumption uh, will be changing. Mm, this so is very like interesting. Because the consumption of electrical cars is uh, quite high, so we can expect that uh, there will be another peak which is going to be as well in the time when people are returning, people are charging. What are uh, the future abilities needed for uh, the workforce in the field as we are becoming uh, more digitalized we see more energy efficiency more renewable more automation no, it's like uh, for us and this is what we are ex explaining to the parents and this is what we are expecting to the uh, uh, to the young students is that the uh, work in the energy company it's not about uh, walking somewhere and uh, working with the screwdriver but this is more and more working with the computer setting up the setting up the uh, system setting up the intelligent uh, intelligent parts of the network so the intelligent equipment so it's it's more and more and more about uh, this uh, say digital digital ability digital knowledge what would be your uh, recommendation to have on the best energy transition in Romania I think the most important is because so we are ahead of a lot of challenges. Yes, of course. And that's going to be and whenever uh, some new challenge will come, yeah, I think it's it's very important to have uh, to have in on, in front of us the vision. So what is the final target? So where are we heading? So whenever we are solving some challenge on the way, to always have in mind where are we heading. So not to be just solving it from one day to the other, but really uh, having this long-term plan. Because then it's always it's it's always easier. So if you have if you have the direction, uh, it's always uh, it's always easier.